So this is going to be your reading for whenever you get it. I always say that because you don't know when you're going to get a reading, you know? Whenever you come to this reading, it's meant for you. Um, and just to let you know, September 18th, I will be having a three-week workshop. And it's all about like the empowered empath, how to show up powerful in love, how to attract in the love that you are aligned with that will fill you, um, how to create a roadmap to your heart, okay? So I will leave that in the description box if you are interested. It will be starting September 18th, baby. You know what I'm saying? Um, okay. I also still have my love sale going on. So if you need a reading, if this doesn't resonate with you, or if it does, email me. I. Um. Whew. This energy is heavy. <laughs> this energy is really, really heavy. All right. For love, I'm. I'm going into love. I am going to go over how you see this connection or how you feel and versus them and their feelings. This connection is so freaking heavy. This is on your heart. You will know that this is for you because it's on your heart because my heart feels so heavy. Okay. Um, I hear surprise. People, people are surprised that you finally turned your back on someone like this person, like, I feel highly emotional, but it's in my heart. This person could have hurt your heart on a level that they will never, ever be able to comprehend, you know? Um, I also hear a leech. So to me, with, with a leech, it could have been like an energy vampire. And with energy vampires, to me, I, I automatically gravitate to, to narcissists, like somebody who had... And I hear an uncontrollable urge to reach out to you. Like they want to make amends. They want to make things better. But it's almost like you, I see people, um, I see, <laughs> I see people comforting you. You could be crying to people about this person of how much they hurt you. Like they hurt you on some level that I don't even know if 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 they have a chance with you, you know. But yeah, let me go into this because it's, it's so heavy. Jesus Christ. I hear calling on your ancestors to heal you like it was that bad. To me, this just sounds like narcissistic abuse, like somebody who took you for granted, somebody who tried to destroy destroy your self-worth like somebody who tried to kill your heart on the inside and your heart feels it it's like it's heavy um some of you even i hear abortion like you you could have had an abortion by this person you could have got pregnant or carrying some of you guys can be carrying their kids right now um it's like a a, a heavy heavy toxic situation that has depleted you if this resonates with you then Hop on up in this because this is going to be your story. Let me let me see the overall energy for this. I feel like crying. <laughs> Woo! Jesus Christ. Yeah, I knew it. This is like narcissistic abuse. It says you deserve love. Um, this person made you feel as if you weren't even worthy to be loved. Like I, I hear like ashamed. I hear grief struck in. Like they truly try to destroy you. Yeah, I knew it. Forgiving, forgiving and learning. This, this, this connection was brought into your life. There were so many lessons for you to learn. And one of the lessons is, is forgiveness. And, and honestly, forgiveness starts with you. I also hear the power of recognition. Maybe it's almost like you could have been trying to heal them, but the truth is it's you who needed the healing. Maybe you, you've you been trying to get them to love you because you actually felt unloved and you probably were seeking the validation from this connection to make you feel loved and they didn't. They could have took you for granted. I also hear they're watching you. 
some of you some for some of you they bought you a perfume set or they brought they bought you a purse i hear spending the night this is this is clues to, to know who this person is like you spent the night with this person it's almost like you thought this was going to be your husband or was going to be your wife you kept trying to change them or fix them and the more that you would try to gravitate to them, the more that you would try to love them, the more they made your self-esteem get lower and lower and lower. I hear severe depression. Yeah. A person who would never, ever express their love. Um, I also hear hermit mode. I hear some of you guys could be in hermit mode. You could be in isolation right now. Like this person stole your joy. They stole your sleep. I hear bringing up things from the past and trying to use it against you. Mm, damn. This person seems so hurt, hurtful. They had a lot of anger, a lot of anger issues or... What's happening in their background is they um, are are exploding, like like literally losing their good shit. If they had any good inside of them, if they had any good inside of them, it's like they're losing their shit. Like they're they're explosive. They're this is <laughs> this energy is draining me. All right, this connection made you feel off balance. It made you feel nauseous or. Some of y'all could have been pregnant by this person or you're currently pregnant by them. Mm. All right. So this is going to be you at the top. This is them. If you do have a kid with this person, it's like they left everything on you. They left everything on you. Because I hear like they they could have just left you. They could have left you with a baby. They could have left everything on you. Like you had to do everything. This person sat back and, and you had to be the hard worker. You had to clean the house. You had to do everything. Okay. So this is you. Planting a firm foundation, trying to get the balance back in your life. You could be working on your pentacles. And, and love begins. You have a new you have a new love situation that's here for you. In the midst of what you're going through, it's almost like I hear coffin. With coffin, I feel like this person is dead to you. I, I pray, I pray that they're not physically dead. What coffin to me, I just feel like, like, you know, for you, you could be saying to yourself, like, I'll, I'll just, this situation is dead to me, or this person is just dead to me. I just don't like, you're grossed out. You feel ashamed that you allowed somebody to treat you this way or take advantage of you in this way. And I hear making money only matters to me. You could be just focused on your money. Um, but love begins. This seems like a, a brand new season of love. Like I also hear love struck. Somebody is love struck by you. They they love you. <laughs> Somebody somebody's in love with you. Um you definitely if you ever wanted to know like clarity on whether this person was a narcissist, you could be they are. Because they're angry that you even left and they want you back, but they want you back because they want control, they want power. They're like angry and vicious and they they want ang they <laughs> you know, to me to me just the energy of them currently now. It's like a person who's who's losing control. And I hear constantly crying to you about shit. So they can come to you and cry to you about shit that they're going through, but they don't be trying to hold you down. They don't be there to lift you up. It's like you cater to them, you know? You cater to them, you cater to their emotions, but I don't see them doing the same for you. Like a one-sided connection. Oh, shoot. 
Um, once again, I said this person is watching you, but that's crazy because when it says watching you, it shows intuition. Intuition watching you, meaning that they they could be, they could be. Um, yo, this person's energy is awful. Damn, I hear trying to change you. And that's what narcissists do. They try to program you so that you can do what they need you to do for them. They're watching you. They're watching you. They can be watching you uh, through tarot, like trying to get information on you. I also hear like a loan shark. This person is, they could cry to you about like, oh, I don't have no friends. I'm alone. Like <laughs> they can be one of those people, like always needing attention, always got something going on. You always have to nurse their wounds because they're always into some shit. Shit pun shit. Shit pun shit pun shit. They always got some shit going on. They always, oh, oh, that's what it is. Like, uh, uh, what are those types of people? Um, they are, uh, oh, victim, victimized. Woe is me. These people always doing this to me. They don't see themselves. They just, everybody does this. Everybody does that. It's them. It's them. It's them. It's them. They're always pointing the finger. It's, and they're, 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 they're awful is what they are. Let me see. You know, too, with this person, just be careful because they the type that feel like, oh, well, I own you. You know what I mean? Like I, I invested in you. I own you. Nobody else can have you type of person. What they really are, they're paranoid. They're paranoid that they know that you're a good person deep down inside. They do. They actually think that you're wonderful supply. Like if this is a narcissist, they find you to be great supply. They know all that you are. If this person, they play on your, your self-esteem. They, pl they play on your self-esteem. And what it's doing, it's building your resilience. It's actually making you stronger. Like now you you caught on and you could be flip you can be flipping the script on them. But you caught on to who this person is. It's almost like they try to play on your weaknesses. And that's what narcissists do. They study you. And they try to play on your weakness to break you down because they actually see how powerful you are. They literally think you're freaking powerful. Underneath all this ha ha ha, they actually uh, feel very threatened by you. And so they they say things on purpose. Like if you put on a shirt like, ew, you're going to wear that outside. That actually looks disgusting. Like they will say little things like that on to you on purpose. And it's because they they want to keep you, they want to keep you down on their level. Because if you ever boss up, you will actually find somebody who's worthy of you. And then they have to lose out on your love. It's almost like they wish they could be like you. They wish they could love you, but they can't. They're a narcissist. So this is this is like a power struggle. I hear unfit mother. They will even talk to you about your parenting. They'll try to front like. Yo, you ain't even a good parent. You're such an unfit mother. And the truth is you're like one of the best mothers ever. It's almost like, it's so funny too, because they, they, some of them, they have mother issues and they might say like, damn, I wish they might even be jealous because you are a good mother and they wish they had a mother like you. Who you with? Who you with? Who you with? They bitter and they're awful. They're an awful human. Who are you with? This person is like a big baby. And that's what narcissists are. They're emotionally uh, underdeveloped. Lord have mercy. They jealous because you a good parent. So they purposely talk about your parenting because deep down inside they wish you... <laughs> Deep down, <laughs> he laughing at things. Deep down inside, they wish that you were their parent, <laughs> or they had a parent like you. So everything that you're good, they prey on everything that they see that you're good at. You a good parent, they gonna prey on it. Oh, you you're a horrible parent. You don't even know how to take care of a child. They see you're a good worker. Oh, you're awful. Like like they will just shit on anything good that you do. They're they are horrible. They're a horrible human, is what they are. That's awful. And it's all because they're alone. They feel lonely inside. They feel empty inside. They feel like nobody loves them. And this is what they're transferring onto you. 
They need control because they feel like manipulation is the only way that they can get love or get someone to stay with them. They're sick is what they are. Yeah, see? You're letting go. You caught on. I knew that. Baby, you, you're moving on. You're like, oh, hell no. <laughs> this, uh-uh. Baby, you a monster. <laughs> yeah. See, balance, give and take. New love. Shit. You got new love, but you're afraid to jump in it because you're comparing everybody to the past. If you wanted to know, you're in your ego. Spirit just said it. It's like ego. You're in your ego. Um, you're you're not sharing love with people from a place of of you being connected to your heart space. You're 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 loving out of fear because of what you've been through. And honestly, I get it. You went through narcissistic abuse and you're still healing from narcissistic abuse. You know, you're trying to take your pa power back. You're you're letting go of a lot of stuff and you're you're sharing your wisdom with other people on what you've been through. You're using it to help people while you're still taking care of children and and doing your own thing and trying to be a good human. That's a lot. But, yeah. Tell me about this person. <laughs> they, they just got a new job. They had a change in their job. Um, yeah, they're getting readings on you because it shows the creator, like the higher source. They're, or they can be creator. It could be someone on YouTube. They could be looking at YouTube videos they just had a change of a job. That's how you'll know who this person is. Clarify receptivity for partnership. Participation. Are they in another connection? Playfulness. Are they in another connection but still fixed on you? That that sounds, sounds about narcissistic. <laughs> they can't be alone. Are they? Oh, they're looking, they're looking for another partner. They're looking for another partner. They could be flirting with others. They're looking into the possibilities. They they flirt in. They out in these streets. They out in these streets, but they're stuck on you. I hear following you. They could even be like a um a fake profile. Hold up. You'll know who this person is. Spirit says you like erased all their messages. Yeah wanting more they want more of you oh my god lee um oh i say leos you could be with a leo you could be with a leo it could be a scorpio i hear they're finding out everything about you they could be <laughs> they could be finding everything out about you it could be a gemini um or a Sagittarius. It can also be a Cancer. I also hear you needing legal advice. For some of you guys, you could be getting an order of protection or you could be filing, filing child support or full custody, like needing legal advice. Um, this person is off the chains. Okay, I'm going on to the extended, Virgos. If this resonates with you, come hop over with me and let's see what's going to happen. Let's see, let's see. I love y'all. <laughs> 